What's better than settling down in a simple suburban neighborhood? Moving into New York's newest luxurious neighborhood in Manhattan. Hudson Yards isn't your run-of-the-mill residency filled with mere rows of houses. This is a large complex with two tall luxurious residency buildings, many office buildings, and plenty of fun places to eat, drink, and shop. It is officially open, but there's still much work to do for construction. But just what can a proud resident of this complex do in their daily lives? How does a typical Hudson Yards citizen spend their time? Let's take a look at how the people of this luxurious neighborhood live, work, and play throughout the day. When it comes to residency choices for condominiums, there are two buildings to choose from, but they are both incredibly luxurious choices. The development of the first residency building, 15 Hudson Yards, was completed in 2019. Inside the 900-foot-tall skyscraper are 88 stories of homes and amenities. You, as the prospective homeowner, have a choice between five types of floor plans, from a one-bedroom to a duplex penthouse with more than 5,000 square feet of living space. You also get a choice of two different color schemes, a gentle tonal color and a lively contrast color. Not only that, but choosing to live here means wonderful views of the Hudson River, the New York skyline, and the Statue of Liberty. The cost for the lovely homes range from $2.95 million for a one-bed, one-and-a-half bath home to $29.5 million for a penthouse. The average price per square foot is $3,152. When you want to leave the house, go up to the 50th floor for a trip to the spa, a day at the salon, or a workout at the fitness facilities they provide. Going to the 51st floor, you'll see it holds the lounges, private dining, a club room, and workspace. There's even a golf club lounge with a simulator and a minibar. The other residential building at 35 Hudson Yards is the tallest residential building thus far in the neighborhood with 92 stories. It's quite the beauty of a building made with Jura limestone and glass. Even more amazing, it's the same limestone used to build Willibaldsburg Castle in Germany. The architect of the building is David M. Childs from Skidmore, Owings & Merrill, LLP. SOM is also responsible for the Burj Khalifa, One World Trade Center, and the Time Warner Center. But its beauty lies even further within. Starting on the 53rd floor, it has two to six bedroom homes with 1,500 to 10,000 square feet. The homes have a cost range of $4.25 million for a two bed, two and a half bath to $59 million for a penthouse. There are amenities similar to 15 Hudson Yards, such as a golf simulator, but there's also a library, a children's playroom, lovely tapestry art by Helena Hernmark, and even the Equinox Hotel. The 24th floor has a grand terrace and a grand dining room, along with a sky lobby for outdoor dining and wide open views. Whenever you wish to go for a swim, jump on into the 25-yard indoor saltwater pool, plunge pools, and the outdoor leisure pool that is available along with a whopping 60,000-square-foot Equinox Fitness Club. Sadly, even the high life in a high rise doesn't make you immune to work. However, there are places you can go to focus on your daily tasks. There are a total of four office buildings, with one of them on the way to completion in 2022. The office buildings are 10 Hudson Yards, 30 Hudson Yards, 50 Hudson Yards, and 55 Hudson Yards. The 10 Hudson Yards building gives you 1.8 million square feet of space and is 895 feet tall. Work next to the floor-to-ceiling window with a view of the Hudson River. The 30 Hudson Yards building is quite a spot to work at. It's the second tallest office building in New York. It's even taller than the Empire State Building. You can take that height in by going on the observation deck called Edge on the 100th floor. You can buy a general admission adult ticket to go there for the price of $36. Whenever you need a lunch break, you'll get direct access to their fine restaurants. 50 Hudson Yards is already home to BlackRock and Facebook. If you're lucky to work for either of them in this building, you'll be getting amenities like an on-campus health clinic and a child care center. Even though it is just outside the number seven subway station, there is an on-site bike storage area for those who prefer to bike to work. However, this particular building is not complete yet and is set to be finished in 2022. 55 Hudson Yards will be 780 feet tall with 1.3 million square feet of space. The building's look was inspired by the revitalized Highline District, according to the Hudson Yards website, and is made with matte metal. However, with the pandemic going on, people are trickling their way to outdoor areas for additional work spots. Luckily, those spots are available for you. Work on the outdoor patio of Kindred by buying a table reservation for $25 per person. If a rooftop workspace is more your style, buy a private membership for Spring Place for $3,000 a year, $21,000 for those lucky enough to be under the age of 30. Well, hey, all work and no play makes you a dull New Yorker. 
Hudson Yards claims to be the cultural center of Manhattan's new west side. So let's take a look at what fun you can have as a Hudson Yards neighbor. According to the official website, there are more than 100 diverse shops and culinary experiences, along with 14 acres of public plazas. The Edge, the observation deck at 30 Hudson Yards that we mentioned earlier, is the highest observation deck in the Western Hemisphere. It has 360-degree views thanks to its angled glass walls, see-through floor, and outdoor steps. You can also take a yoga class for $50 that's included in the general admission price. Hudson Yards has its own hotel called the Equinox Hotel, with each guest room holding a minimum of 400 square feet of space, and includes the Electric Lemon Restaurant and Bar. So if you're inviting friends and family from afar, be sure to book them a nice suite here. You can watch free movies and live sports on the backyard big screen featuring a giant 30-foot screen with lawn chairs. The public square and gardens of Hudson Yards is an environmentally sustainable park that uses technology to keep more than 200 trees and 28,000 plants cool and comfortable. On the border of Public Square and Gardens is The Shed, which cost $500 million to build, where there are exhibits for all sorts of art and music. Looking for foods to sink your teeth into? The new farmer's market is open through the fall to sell all sorts of goods from fresh pasta to in-season mushrooms. Of course, there are other options for dinner, including indoor places like Bluestone Land and Hudson Yards Grill, or outdoor places like Mercado Little Spain. Visitors can also see the beautiful Vessel Sculpture, which cost $200 million to build. Though the price of a luxury neighborhood is, of course, high, it took $2.4 billion to extend the number 7 subway line, $1.2 billion for about 4 acres of parks and open space, and $359 million in interest payments on bonds when revenue from the development fell short according to the New York Times. Additionally, the $6 billion in tax breaks involved include $25 million for BlackRock, $5.5 million for L'Oreal USA, and $14 million for Warner Media. There is so much to do at Hudson Yards, but there's also still much to build. Even with its current five towers, 16 towers are still expected within a couple of years. Hudson Yards is expected to be completely constructed by 2024. Did you know that Rob Gronkowski, a football player from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, bought a home from 35 Hudson Yards? The Super Bowl champion snagged a three-bedroom, three-and-a-half bathroom with 2,652 square feet. The cost? $7 million. Do you know any other celebrities that live in this giant neighborhood? Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.